Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you guys how to needle your thread. Now actually somebody uh, requested this video, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, first of all, when you are doing sew-ins, you do not want to use thread that you thread clothes with because that thread is too thin and it will break. You want to use this kind of thread. You can get it in bigger spools or a spool like this. This one has obviously been used but you can get these little um, spools for like a dollar ninety nine at your local beauty supply store you can get them online at beauty supply stores online or whatever um, usually at the local beauty supply store you can get the needle and thread together for like two dollars so it just depends on where you go and local beauty supply stores are usually located in urban areas. Um, you also want to make sure you use the right kind of needles. Um, you want to use curved needles like this. As you can see, they are way thicker than regular needles that you use when you are sewing clothes. You can find these needles in a pack at a local fabric store if you have one like um, you know Joanne Fabrics if y'all have that in your area or any fabric store you know sells fabric, yarns, threads, needles, things like that. I got some of my uh, first needles at the grocery store actually and they had like little sewing needles and then mattress needles and stuff like that. So any thick needle like this that curves you can't use a straight needle this thick, but I suggest curved needles because they are safer when going through somebody's um, braid because it's already curved, so you won't have to really worry about stabbing somebody in the head. It's just going to go right on through the braid. Um, and you want to make sure you use the thick thread. I suggest the local beauty supply store because they got the stuff for hair. But a lot of the stuff is stuff that you would use to sew uh, fabrics and things like that. This is just a form of craft. Weaving, sewing, all of that is art to me. So you need art tools. Just like with makeup, you can go to the local uh, craft store and get brushes. It's the same thing. So you don't necessarily have to go to a local beauty supply store. You can go to your local fabric store. So that's the first thing you want to do. Do not use regular thread and regular needles because those are too thin and they will not get that you won't even get through the process because it's not going to work. Um, you need needles and thread that's going to hold up with the wefting of the weave and that are going to be able to hold, you know, the weave weft to the braid. So you want to make sure you use thick needle, thick needles and thread. So as you can see, the thickness of this thread is way thicker than like clothing thread. So yeah. And now the beauty supply stores have the bigger spools for like $4.99. I would suggest you get those if you do a lot of sew-ins or you plan on doing a lot of sew-ins. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that the person asked me to do this video because they might have been using the wrong products. So if you were, um, you know, first of all, make sure you get the right needle, needle and thread. That's the first thing. Now, when doing this is very simple. I want you to realize that you're going to go through this thread in like a minute. So maybe by the second weft or the second turn of the weft, you're probably going to need some more thread, depending on how you do this. So you want to make sure that you pull out enough thread so that it's enough to get you through at least a you know a good amount of the sew in but you don't want it too long because then it'll start getting in the way of you doing work so you just you know that's kind of like your own judgment call whatever you're comfortable with okay that's the first thing you want to do when doing this so you want to get like a little thing of water just like a little Dixie cup of water and you want to kind of dip your finger in there and you want to just make sure you press this you know, so you can get the needle through the hole. 
and you don't have to do it this way this is just something that I do okay so next make sure I'm in the frame so you just wanna the hole is big enough where you don't have to even it's not really it's very effortless so if you get the proper tools this shouldn't be an issue so I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate this you just pull it put the needle through the hole and pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it okay now you want to make sure like I said earlier that your needle is long enough I mean your needle your thread is long enough so you don't have to continuously stop I do suggest that you do this beforehand so let's say you know that somebody wants you to do a sew in for them the next day so I would say the night before get your um needles ready I would suggest you do about and I'm not even joking about 20 thread threaded needles you wanna you wanna have at least 20 ready to go so you don't see this is all about professionalism I know a lot of people like to be ghetto and like do hood shit but I don't I mean this video to me isn't really about me showing you how to pull a needle through a hole it's more so about me educating you on the right things to use so that you and your client can have a great experience the one thing I absolutely hate is when a client or a number of clients complain about one person or one salon and it's like are you serious this video is about me just kinda giving you some tips to make you a more professional stylist you know I would just hate for you to be stopping constantly because you only got one needle ready 20 to 25 needles if you real if you like me you have maybe 50 needles I honestly would take a whole day if so is all you do I would take a whole day of my life because it's your job right when you ain't got no clients that's usually Monday or Sunday or whatever and I would just go through some packs of needles and thread and thread them bitches up because this is what you do for a living you prepare for your job you prepare what is what does the man say you prepare for war when there's peace so when you at peace you need to be preparing for war so ends war peace ain't no nothing to do thread your needles so once you are comfortable with the amount of thread that you sectioned off you would cut it okay. you would just cut it like so and then you would create your knee your knot like like so you create your knot and that's it actually I'm thankful the person requested this video because I felt like I was able to give you all some information you know that you might not have so that's basically it um, I hope that this video was helpful to the person who requested it um, I'm sorry I didn't like message you back but I couldn't because that's what YouTube gave me some kind of weird message so I just went ahead and did the video and I hope this helped you out I hope this helps everybody out um, just information wise this was more so about me giving you the information on the right needles and thread to use um, and that's it because honestly you don't really need a tutorial on how to pull the needle through the hole you need more of the information on the thread needle and where to find it and that's basically it if you have any questions leave them down below if you have any requests go ahead and inbox me message me send me an email like this video thumbs up subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later bye